Hi everybody, I'm Arthur. And I'm Buster. Today we'll be talking about my fourth VHS, which is episode 16 of my podcast. It's called Arthur's First Sleepover. This VHS includes Arthur's First Sleepover, plus a bonus episode, Arthur's Lost Dog. First, let's talk about Arthur's First Sleepover, which is episode 30A. And here's our special guest, The Brain. Hi guys, thanks for inviting me. Sure Brain, I can't wait for our sleepover after this. Me neither, it's going to be great. We can tell scary stories that have aliens in it. Oh Buster, let's get started. So this episode starts out with me, Buster and the Brain sitting in front of a tent and camping out. We talked about the things we used to be scared of when we were kids. For example, I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of Binky Barnes. And I was afraid of an old movie I saw. That made me and Buster laugh. Mm Mm-hmm. Anyway, after the title card was read, I was setting up the tent for my first sleepover. Pal was messing around. Mom told me my sleepover wasn't until Saturday. Dad was busy reading the newspaper. He said that a farmer claimed he saw a spaceship over Elwood City. D.W. wanted to take a picture of one so she could have lots of money. Then the scene transitions to me talking to Buster about the sleepover. The problem was Buster couldn't come because his mom thought he'd be too scared of because of the spaceship. So the scene transitions to my mom calling Buster's mom. She said yes. Then the scene transitions to all our bad dreams. Buster thought the brain and I were aliens. The brain was fixing the spaceship. Technically, my dream wasn't a nightmare. Right. Anyway, my bad dream was when D.W. came to the sleepover. Then the scene transitions to me bringing a TV outside. Dad thought it would be fun to just look at the stars. So he brought the TV back inside. D.W. was busy looking for UFOs. Then the scene transitions to me, Buster, and the brain outside. I showed them the tent. Then D.W. entered the scene, but Mom made her go back inside. Then the scene transitions to me searching for a flashlight in the kitchen drawer. We didn't know it, but D.W. had it. What irony. I agree. Anyway, the scene transitions to me, Buster, and the brain all inside the tent. It looked pretty crowded, but not when we sat down. Then the scene transitions to us trading baseball cards. Then Dad told us it was bedtime. We got into our sleeping bags. Once Dad left the scene, we didn't want to go to sleep. We wanted to stay up later. All of a sudden, we saw aliens. Well, actually, it wasn't aliens. It was D.W. I went into her room to give her back the camera. Then Buster, the brain, and I went to get some things to make an alien. Then we surprised D.W. with a fake alien. She grabbed her camera and tried to take a picture. She also took pictures of the fake UFO. We were happy we tricked D.W., but D.W. wasn't. So I decided to let her stay with us. Later, she got bored and went back to bed. Then the scene, then the three of us poked our feet out of the tent once again to get comfortable and we continue to play Go Fish. And that's how the episode ends. What a story. Yes, and the best part was no aliens were harmed. Oh, Buster. Well, Brain, thank you for coming on to the show. Of course, I'll see you at the sleepover. Great.